how is everyone doing? It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. I've I've been on other social media platforms for a little while and YouTube is, I'm back. I wanna do longer form content and the other social media platforms they usually want the short form content, the quick, fast content that people see. And I wanna just dive in and really dissect different topics topics if you haven't been here before my name is Corey and this is my channel enjoy yourselves so in this video I'll be sharing with you five ways to improve your art business so these five categories are creating developing marketing sales and teaching now these are five different categories in which to help you shape your goals so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into them so buckle up number one creating have a goal that focuses on you creating something daily this goal could be a 30 day challenge or getting ready to have a solo show or just want to start a new series. What it does is, is it helps give you more intention about what you create. Not necessarily that you need a reason to really create anything. It's a boost to help you be more consistent with making things. So by the time you're done creating a bunch of art, you don't only have a bunch of art sitting around like lost souls. This, this happens to me sometimes. It happens. Number two, developing. Take time weekly to develop your skills. Take time out of each week to practice something that you want to improve on. This could be three or four hours one day per week, or it could be one hour per day. What you want to do is you want to get in the mindset of constantly developing and learning something new. What's most important is finding a way to develop your skill without facing burnout. What helps me is I'm learning from two, two different books right now one oil painting book, and then also one figure drawing book. And what I'm doing is I will sometimes, before I go ahead and paint for the oil painting book, I would spend one hour or so reading that book before I go ahead and paint. Or early in a week, I would learn those new skills so throughout the week I can apply them as I go. With you, this can be on a day that you're free. This could be on a Sunday. This could be on a Friday night. <laughs> Anytime you just feel like studying, at least find that time, at least three or four hours or something uh, per week to learn some some new skill or just develop your craft much more and at first it can be very intimidating especially when you buy a new book right and you're flipping through that book because you want to know you, you want to see okay what does this book got right so you're flipping through that book and you get towards the end of the book you're like oh my goodness this is a lot of information that you got to learn i advise don't do that right <laughs> flip through a little bit to get more motivated into it what you want to do is you just want to take it one step at a time one page at a time if it's a book if it's an online course, one video at a time. And long before you know it, you are gonna be way past what you were when you first started. Someone said, I heard this before, it says, one is better than zero. Keep that in mind the next time you're intimidated with developing your skills, go out and develop those skills. Number three, marketing. How will you get your products or services out into the world? Now this could be mainly through, this could be through social media or in person. You get to use Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or Facebook, or you can also even do physical flyers. What you wanna do is make a goal that focuses on sharing what you have. Even this video, even though I'm mainly focusing on sharing educational tips about art, I'm essentially focusing on what I love. So what you can do is you can go down there and click that subscribe and that like down there and other links to check out other social media platforms. So with marketing, you could focus on brand awareness. You could focus on your products. You can focus on the services that you have. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna help you grow your brand and get yourself out there much more. Something that helps me a lot, especially with in-person events, such as art festivals, art shows, artist markets. These really help me get in front of people so people can not only see your art, but they can see the person behind the art. And I think that's what makes it much more important to do in-person events and things of that sort. And if you're not able to do those in-person events, maybe the area that you live in may not have a bunch of art events like that. One, you could make your own. Reach out to a, a space that has open space and make your own solo show or something like that. Or even if that's not the case, what you can do is really focus on online take all that time and energy and focus on putting that online in front of people, doing ads, or focus on social media to do it, especially with short form content. Don't let the place that you live, don't let the area that you're in limit you from reaching more people. At this day and age, 
We have so many ways that we can reach many people. And back then they didn't have that. Now we have so many different ways. You can have a dining room space and reach someone across, across the country. Which leads me to number four, sales. Having a goal that focuses on your art finances is essential. Now I have to admit, I am not the best when it comes to this. I'm constantly learning myself. A lot of times artists, we can earn money and not really track what we're making. It's good to, it's great to set a goal, a number, just so you have something in mind that you're aiming towards. And that way, it also helps you to be more creative about making money as an artist. Think of different ways you can make that money. And it's where different income streams come into play. So I encourage you to set a yearly number that you wanna reach, then break that down because that big number can be intimidating. So break that down into how much you need to make a month, then how much you need to make a week, and then how much you need to make per day. And then take that number and look at that number and say, okay, what income stream can make me this number per day? Or not even one income stream, what two income streams can help me make this number per day? Or three, or four. My goal, one of my goals is to have at least seven different income streams. And you don't have to have that many. Maybe you have one or two and one is killing it. This one is killing it, right? So that's okay too, right? Think of a way to take that large number and break it down into a smaller number and think to yourself, okay, what do I need to make this number right here? This can help you so much more on your finances and have a goal to aim towards when it comes to your finances and your art business. And lastly, number five, teaching. Not only teaching is a big one, mainly because when we're taking in information, we're not only taking in information for ourselves, but we're taking in information for others. So it's as though we're taking in information twice as much because we have to think to ourselves, how can I take this information, digest it, break it down and share with somebody else so that they can digest it as well. That's something that helps me when it comes to developing my skill and learning something new. I'm almost taking in information twice because I have in mind, okay, I am digesting this. Now let me really sink it in so that when I'm teaching to somebody else, it flows off in a way that is smooth as it goes down. We're not talking about drinks, all right? So, you know, it's, it's not the weekend yet, so get your mouth off some drinks. <laughs> Talk about art here, okay? So, well, dang. We don't fully need to know everything about what we're learning to be able to share it. One thing is, if you have information to share with someone, if you have something new that would you know is beneficial with somebody, I don't think it's a good idea just to hold it from them simply because you don't want them to know your secrets and you do not have to share everything that you know. In Austin Cleon's book, Still Like an Artist, he says, share your dots, but don't connect them. And there's another quote that says, at the book right here, <laughs> Howard Aiken. He says, don't worry about people stealing your ideas. If your ideas are any good, you have to ram, th ram them down people's throats. If that's not simple enough, that's that's straightforward right there. Don't worry about people taking and stealing your ideas. Share them with them. Also, teaching is another income stream. You could teach workshops or online, Skillshare, YouTube, Domestica, or an online class on your shop. Find some way to teach, some way to get that knowledge out there. Free videos, tips on TikTok or Instagram. So having a goal around teaching is not only beneficial for yourself, also beneficial for other people as well. So those were five different categories in which to help you improve your art business. Five different ways you can shape your goals around. That was creating, developing, marketing, sales, and teaching. So what you can do now is take those different categories, go write some goals down, don't overwhelm yourself with it, make it an easy process, go improve your art business because you got this and I will see you next time.